G'day guys, Chris here from Abyss, and a big thank you for booking on for your next trip. You must be excited. The purpose of this video is to take you through an absolutely fantastic product, the Nautilus Lifeline. These are a marine personal locator beacon. Think about it as your very own GPS. The benefit of these is that we can strap it onto our equipment, carry it in a pocket, or simply clip it off, and know that we will be located anywhere within the uh, broadcast distance of this particular unit. That's 34 nautical miles, if you wanted to know, and that's a huge amount of distance. What I'm gonna take you through in this video is how to set up and configure your Nautilus when you're out on a trip. You can pick these up within seven days of your booking for just a refundable deposit of $100. When you collect your Nautilus here in store, when you remove it from the packaging, you'll see that it's split between three separate parts. The box, which has some helpful information on how to locate the app and how to set it up, which I'll go through with in just a moment. The EPIRB itself, so the Marine Locator Beacon, and this very helpful casing that will allow us to, one, keep it safe, keep it strapped away onto the gear or inside of a pocket. What I'd firstly like to show you is the unit itself and how we configure it. You'll notice that when you pick your unit up, there is a lanyard and a clip to provide you with a couple of different options in terms of storage. The first thing that you should know is that this is always going to be able to dive deeper than any of the scope of diving that you'll be doing. It's sub 100 meters. So you can take this anywhere and it'll be safe to dive. It's important to know that, however, the inside mechanics, they are not waterproof, they're only splash proof. So we always deploy this at the surface. It's not to be opened underwater. The clasp is here, designed just to be pulled up. And as I do that, I release the internal mechanism. Now don't worry, the important buttons, both yellow and red, are not exposed, so I can't press them by accident. The initialization button is here, the blue one. I simply press it once, and you'll notice that a blue LED will then light up. Now, as the LED starts to flash, it will let you know that it is ready to be configured. Let's run through that next step now. All right, what I'd like to run through with you now is the setup of the unit itself. It is very simple, but sadly, in the box, there isn't a huge amount of information. The first thing that you need to do is to go to your uh, Apple Store or Play Store and download the Nautilus GPS app. This will work regardless of Android or with an iPhone. So whatever phone you choose to use, you can set it up correctly. As you initialize the app, the very first section that you will see will ask you to enter the serial number for the unit. To locate that is on the back of the unit. You can see here, serial number, not the MSI number. We will go through that in just a moment. What I do then is I then make sure that the case is facing down with the label up. I receive this information and I place it into the unit itself. One, eight, two, three, four, and the secondary element, nine, six, oh, six. Now, don't get confused. You just need to tap the screen in order to get to next. From there, it will then ask you to select your region. Wherever you are in the world, the easiest way is to set it to international. This will broadcast on both the automatic identification system as well as DCS. You're getting the best of both worlds. You'll then click next and it will bring you through to the MMSI number. All right, now this is important if you're traveling on a liverboard. What this will allow you to do is to program the unique marine multiple identifier that will place you here and broadcast through VHF radio directly to the boat that you're on. What that means is not only will emergency services be notified, the boat that you are diving with will receive a VHF broadcast immediately of your location. This is probably one of the best benefits of the Nautilus and a reason why all divers on any overseas trips should carry them. For today, we're not gonna pop anything in there as we don't have a vessel to dive from. I then click next and it will bring me through to the program screen. And it's at this stage now that we move, need to move in to a much darker area. All right, as per the instructions on the screen, I have now um, placed the marine GPS face down with the label up. I have brought it into an area where there isn't a great deal of light and we will now see how we program. All right, we do that by following the instructions on the screen to hold it from the device approximately five centimeters. As we click program, you will see that it will begin to strobe. What's happening here is it's programming with your particular information. Now, once that process has happened, we wait and we will see a confirming flash. That flash lets you know that you have configured your system correctly and the unit is now operational. All right, so we now run through that very simple setup. The final thing is what's due in an emergency. The instructions are on the inside of the unit and they are laid out here along the top of the casing. 
All right, so we know already that as we open the unit, we can confirm it is on by holding down the blue button and waiting for the blue LED. In the event of an emergency, we simply deploy the antenna and we press the red button. It is very important that when you are on your vessel that you do not attempt this. It is only for an emergency. It's basically set and forget. What we really want you to be doing is to configure it and then forget about it and remember that it's there as that safety net and blanket. One of the best insurance policies that money can buy. Thank you very much for this video. Enjoy your trip and we look forward to hearing all about it when you return.